Now, buddy, um, who are you training right now? Um, I'm working with a, a um a kid named I can't pronounce his last name. He's a cruiserweight, Steve Bujan or something. He's nine and zero. Um, working with him. Um, and uh, I got a lot of young guys that I'm really you know stay keeping under the radar right now. Gotcha. Gotcha. Now, um, you um, there's gonna be a Gotti Ward documentary on HBO. How, did you train Gotti for all three of those fights? Yes, sir. Wow, y your thoughts on that trilogy? I mean, it's one of the best in boxing. I mean, each fight was better than the previous one, and you know, because you, you was always anticipating what was going to happen. I mean, you really didn't know, you know, if Mickey Ward was trying to land that hook to the liver. You know, I mean, Gaddy trying to outbox him. Then uh, in the second fight when Gaddy had him hurt, he was trying to get him out of there, but he broke his hand in the second round. But he, he fought, you know, the whole fight with his hand like that. The third fight, he went into it with a bad hand. Then he hit Mickey on the hip, I believe, in the fourth or fifth round and, and broke the hand again. So, you know, it was just one of those fights that, you know, each one you never know what to expect. Wow. Is there anything that Gotti told you that we might not know about behind the scenes about th that, those trilogy fights? Nah, you know, after the first fight, he said to me, Coach, I just got to condition my legs a little bit better for the next one. That was it. I mean, that was it. Basically, you know, he trusted me and, and you know, we, we had a game plan each fight. And we went out, you know, the third fight we had to switch up a little bit because through the whole training camp he had hand problems. Well, after, Sorry, that, after that third fight with Gotti, um, you're saying, I mean, he never said anything to you, coach? Like, wow, remember those fights with Ward? It took something out of me. It took something out of me. I'm about to hit a kiss. You get No, he didn't. You know what? To be honest with you, he just said he's glad it was over. Oh, you know what? Okay. You know what I mean? <laughs> got you, got you. Now, um, buddy, what are you up to these days? Just training, you know. I'm um, in New York training at Gleason's gym. Are you still involved with the nonprofit organization that you were involved with? Um, I forgot the name of it, but there was like a it was like a mentoring program. It was a give a kid a dream. He's James Yeah. Are you still involved with that? Yeah. Good. You'd be good. Okay. Well, buddy, listen. The fans love you. Uh, great fighter. Great trainer. I'll give you 30 seconds. Anything you want to say to the public? Uh, you know, just I just hope boxing, you know, gets back to where it used to be, the best fight in the best. Because right now, it's not the same no more. I very rarely watch it. Wow. Okay. Well, uh, thanks a lot for your time, buddy. And uh, hopefully we can speak to you in the future. No problem. Thank you. Thanks, buddy. Bye-bye.